you might think, hey, that's a phone, and uh, you'd be halfway right, it, it can make calls. But more importantly, it's an internet tablet, which means uh, you can very easily get on uh, online, uh, use this QWERTY keypad right here to uh, go to your favorite websites. But most importantly, uh, for a Nokia, it doesn't use the Symbian operating system. And if uh, you've ever used a Symbian operating system, you know it's hard to use, and it's uh, difficult to parse, and it's uh, generally sort of a, a mess. Uh, this actually uses the uh, MIMO 5 OS, which is a Linux-based, and it's 80% uh, open source. So if you're a hacker or a developer, you can easily get into it and uh, develop some apps. So one of the cool things about the N900 is that it has this thing called a panoramic desktop, which means you can kind of scroll through it and launch multiple apps at the same time, which means it can multitask. You can go to something like a, a music streaming website, like Hype Machine, and uh, get on there, start streaming music, and then without uh, closing it down, without interrupting your music flow, you can go to Twitter, go to Facebook, update a status uh, without closing out of anything else. The N900 actually uses a, a Mozilla-based internet browser. It's one of the few mobile devices that actually do this. <laughs> Suck that iPhone. That's what she said. With most smartphones that use multi-touch, you have to pinch to zoom in and out of things. With the N900, it's different. You don't use a pinch. You use a circular-based motion. Clockwise zooms in, counterclockwise zooms out. The Nokia N900 also has a 5 megapixel, uh, 5 megapixel camera on it uh, with Carl Zeiss lens. The pictures are crisp and actually noise free. They're better than most camera phone pics, although this, if you were remembering what we were talking about, this doesn't, it's not actually a camera phone. The other cool thing about the N900 is that it's unlocked. You can throw any SIM card you want in it. If you have T-Mobile, if you have at and if you have Verizon, oh, not Verizon, because Verizon doesn't use SIM cards, uh, any international uh, device will actually work with it too. So $650 may sound like a lot, but it's actually, it's not, considering how much power the N900 packs into it. It's not, you shouldn't think of it as a phone. It's basically a portable desktop device. Is it worth it? For what it gives you, and for the added bonus of being able to make calls with it via Skype or through SIM card, it's a fantastic bargain.